Okay, so you're taking an action research journey. You've started by identifying a problem or issue in your teaching context. You've come up with an innovative solution. And as part of that process, you've written some research questions. Well, what comes next? It's time for an action plan. Hi, I'm Vicky Boss, educator, professional developer, and action planner. Please remember to like and subscribe so that you get lots of lovely, useful tips about action research from the Teaching in Harmony channel. In this video, I'll start by getting you to do a quick check of your research questions. Then we'll go through some of the practical considerations that we need to address in order to implement our action research in the classroom. This, of course, is our action plan. I'm excited. Um, then I will finish at the end with a little checklist summarizing those key points that we've talked about. All right, let's go. Okay, first things first, let's have a look at our research questions. We want to check the following things. First of all, do my questions have a clear aim? That is to say, is it really clear and obvious what we are trying to answer here? What are we trying to achieve with this research question? Secondly, are my questions concise and easy to understand? If your questions are too long and rambly, maybe time to do a little bit of editing. Maybe run them by some of your colleagues, see what they think. Next thing to consider, do my questions have clear data collection opportunities? That is to say, how am I going to measure whether or not I've answered this question? How am I going to collect data? What kind of data could I possibly collect to answer this question? Next thing to consider, do my questions have a manageable scope? So am I trying to do too much? Is there some way that I maybe can narrow my focus with these research questions? And then finally, are my questions open-ended? Are there things like what, how, where, etc.? We don't want to make our questions too close. We're not really looking for yes, no questions here. We're looking for open-ended questions that we can use data to try and answer. So now comes the action plan. That is the step-by-step -step outline of exactly how, where, and when I'm going to implement this solution to the problem. And we start off, the first point is where is this happening? What is the space where this is taking place? Is it a physical classroom or an online classroom? Is it within a school? Is it outside of class? Is it in an open outdoor environment? Is it one tiny little part of my classroom? So where is this occurring? Secondly, who is involved? So who are my learners? Let's identify exactly who the students are who are going to be participating in this project. Are there any other participants that are involved? Am I involving colleagues? Am I involving leadership at my school? Um, obviously, I'm involved as the researcher. Is anybody else collaborating with me? So who's involved and what is their role? The third step is to think, well, what materials do I need for this project? Do I need physical classroom materials? Do I need pens and paper? Uh, am I using a textbook? Am I using supplementary materials from a, another source or from something that I've created myself? Uh, am I using an online tech tool, for example? Am I using some sort of game? Uh, what's exactly necessary for my students to use in order to complete this project? Next up is the time frame. How long is this going to take? Is it happening over a series of lessons? Is it a one-off lesson that I'm repeating with different groups or that my colleagues are repeating with different groups? How long before I expect to maybe see a result? What am I aiming for? Is it taking place over a semester, over a year, over a five-week session? Uh, so what's my time frame for this particular activity or solution? Then I need to consider when and how I will collect data to support my findings. Uh, so we need to think about what kind of data we want to collect and what the tools are that I'm going to use to collect that data. In the next video, we're going to do a deep dive on data. So stay tuned for that. I also need to include in my action plan any permissions that I need to seek or ethics considerations that I might have about my project. Uh, do I have, for example, a control group? 
that is not receiving the same strategy that I'm implementing uh, with my regular class? And is that an ethical practice within the context of my school? These are a few things you might need to check with school leadership, with colleagues, and I really suggest having some serious conversations with the people around you, the professionals around you about what the ethical considerations are and the permissions are that you need in order to carry out this project. There are lots of other considerations, of course, when undertaking an action research project, but those are the basic ones. And I guess I'd like to add a final one in there, and that is on your action research checklist, where have you made space for innovation? Let's make sure every step of the way that what we're doing is actually an innovative plan, an innovative approach. How is what I am doing different to what's been done before? Something to consider. So before moving forward, here's a checklist to review. When you've mostly sorted the practicalities, it's time to focus on data collection. And that will be the topic of our next video. So I'll see you then. Bye.